Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the 144. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have a quick update for you today. I wanted to get out a quick video on these intense energies coming in. This X1 solar flare powerful intense pulsing explosion from the sun. Today is October 28, 2021. It's funny, yesterday's quick update, I accidentally said September 27th. I must have jumped a timeline. But you know in this matrix, now that we are in the twilight zone, it's hard to tell what month, what year, what day. You know what I'm talking about. Bro Thors and Sistars of the Light. So with these intense energies coming in, we're shifting timelines and paradigms. We're going through many accelerated energies in this great quickening. We've had multiple M flares, M class and C class over the last 48 hours. These are updates from space weather. And we're heading into this Samhain, Samhain weekend, Halloween this Sunday, it's going to be an intense weekend with these energies flowing in. We had moderately strong, this is from Space Weather, M2.22 flare from Sunspot Region 12891222 codes from our galactic angelics, higher dimensional beings. Everything's code, everything's encoded now. All numbers, all synchronicities, all signs, all symbols. These are all coming directly from the great spirit from the great central sun we are fairly quiet on the schumann charts you can see this intense pulsing energy coming in yesterday and then today we're starting to get some activity power of nine this is council of nine energy white gold eagle sits on the council but we that would be a story for another day and these energies are a precursor to what's heading our way with these solar flashes these pulsing energies preparing us for the 1111 gateway very intense few weeks ahead of us we had this is from space weather major x class solar flare earth orbiting satellites detected the x1 class solar flare that's what this is an image here that was earth facing sunspot ar2887 the blast was at 1535 utc october 28 creating a massive tsunami of plasma in the sun's atmosphere then we had the m222 m2.22 flare from sunspot region 12891 we have potential geomagnetic storms heading this way we had radio blackout this is the second major X-class flare of solar cycle 25. X9 is the highest. And we did have radio interference, radio blackouts over, I believe it was South America. I think we have an image here. We'll go through these. An X1 solar flare is a long duration event. An earthwards, earthward, <coughs> earthward CME, coronal mass ejection. And then the, we had a strong R3 radio blackout from the X1. The M class and X class from 2887, AR2887. So we'll take a look here. This is the big blast that came off that Soho recorded. <clears throat> here you can see we had multiple C1.2, M1.4. 730, 73 into 37, heaven on earth, CM, C11, M22, there's the 222, 1037, we have started 1038, ended at 1037, the code, the synchronicity of the old paradigm, the old earth, the old false matrix of the 37 coming into the 73, we have the 144 coded in this symbol here, 2887. C 1.22333 Divine Mastery, then C 3.9, which is the 12 code, and then we get the X, the X draw, the X ray. This is gamma pulsing, gamma plasma waves, rainbow light flowing in. 
So we'll keep you up to date. We'll be putting out more information on these events in our full transmission. Join us later tonight. We're going to end this with a very interesting sky phenomenon from our star nations. Check this out. A parking lot. And it's a perfect circle with the lights around it in the parking lot. This is a fake video. You can see my kids. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. There's no reflection. There's no anything. It's just coming down. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. What? It's not moving. It's just sitting perfectly still. Nothing to see right here, above folks. The clouds. Just a weather balloon. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I don't know. Reason? Say hi, Leah, so people know it's real. Hi. Hi. It's not a reflection from a light or anything. Yes, little one. Tell us what that is. Send us the message from our star nations. That is Andromedan Arcturian energy coming in from our Galactic Federation. I once had a friend who was in his 80s. He worked at White Sands in the military. When the crash happened, the Roswell, we call it, and he was debriefed in the military that it was a UFO that crashed. It was the media that put it out. It was a weather balloon, and that's the ship. We uh, Chief Golden Light Eagle taught us, told us he was the keeper of the star knowledge of the star nations. He said there were 13 ships that crashed that year, and the most famous, obviously, Roswell, which was brought to Area 51. I also met the head engineer of Rolls-Royce who worked on the ship. He told us that they used diamond blades to try to cut the metal on the ship. And there were beings inside it that um, it wouldn't, the diamond blades wouldn't even scratch the surface. And he said they reverse engineered. Eventually they got in, obviously. And they reversed engineered for the microchip, Kevlar. Many things came out of that technology. And Chief Golden Light Eagle told us that there was some kind of technology that the military was using at that time that was taking these ships down. One of them was brought to Wright Air Force Base in Ohio, close to Cincinnati. I had family that lived close to there. That was south of where I grew up in Cleveland. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is live shoot, unedited, so oopsie. Go back to the screen. So here's the... <clears throat> losing my voice here brothers and sisters of the light so we have this is the x1 activity c classes of the sun today 65 percent m class 15 percent five percent x class here we got from aura 444 m22.2 solar flare got that number yesterday and a light code after meditation of angels of truth of course the angels coming through Pay attention to your angel numbers when you see them. Ascension symptoms, stretch as soreness is expected. Activations come through your spine. We're getting spine activations through the Kundalini salt bath. Lots of water, stay hydrated. <coughs> Which I need to do, excuse me. Much love. I am Amanda, 11, 11, 11, 11 portal. Here we go, the 2.22, there's an image of the 222 sunspot region 12891 from spaceweather.live. This is from uh, Twitter. Here we ho have the uh, high frequency affected area. X-ray fluctuation. This is Boulder, Colorado. As you can see, they're having radio blackouts all in this area. The red, most intense, 35, up through... United States, Mexico, but South America. Look, it's the whole, this is the land of the condors, the red queen. We talked about this yesterday. The red dragon queen has been crowned, rising up. The red dragons have returned. We have the gold surrounding it, the gold dragons with us. Here we have this sunspot here, 1028, 2021. 1545 UTC. It's a close up of this pulsing solar event, solar flash.
building up to this great quickening. So we'll end with this here. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you all. Keep shining your light brightly into the night. Keep anchoring into the grids. These codes with the, each of these activations coming from Solaris, which are frequencies, they're messages, codes coming directly from the great central sun for our upgrades, for our DNA transformations, transformation of Gaia and all her children. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart. We're living from our heart. This is the Christ consciousness, the Christos, the Magdalene is coming in. We surround the Magdalene to protect her with our golden light. In these final days of the old false matrix, as we transition fully into 5D, have a beautiful and blessed ascension journey. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you could do so at eaglelovecondor.com. I'm Paul White Gold Eagle from primedisclosure.com. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.